Now, this question is all about profit maximization and determining the right quantity that a firm should produce. In this situation, it told you the price is 25. You cannot figure out how much a firm should produce unless you have the price. The first step is calculating something called marginal cost. Marginal cost is the additional cost of producing one additional output. So in this situation, marginal cost is 10, 5, 15, 20, and 30. As you know, the marginal cost always goes down and starts going back up. Well, how do you figure out how many units to produce? The question said that this is perfect competition with a price of 25. Now, in perfect competition, the price is set and the firm can sell as many units as it wants at that $25. All right, wants to sell another unit, $25. Another unit can sell for $25. And that means that the additional revenue that firm earns is always going to be $25. If I sell another unit for $25, the additional revenue, $25. You can keep doing that for every single unit. So if I can sell the very first unit for an additional $25, but the additional cost is $10, I'm going to make profit on that and I'm going to produce that unit. The second unit it costs me additional $5. I can sell it for $25. I'm going to produce that. I'm going to produce a third unit. I'm going to produce a fourth unit, but I will not produce the fifth unit. The reason why is because of MR equals MC. It's the profit maximizing rule. That's where you produce. In this situation, you produce four units. You produce where MR equals MC without the marginal cost going over. I would never produce a unit where the additional cost is greater than the additional revenue I get from selling that unit. Now, what about the profit? Profit equals the total revenue minus the total cost. All right, the total cost is given, it's right here. It's $80 is the total cost. The total revenue is the amount of money coming in. Well, we produce four units. We sell them for $25 each. That means total revenue must be 100. You subtract that out and you get 20, $20 profit. Bonus round. Be careful on your test and how you explain why you should produce four units. A lot of students say, well, we wouldn't produce the fifth because there'd be a loss. And that's not true. Right? In fact, let's find out. If you sell five units for $25 each, that's $125 revenue minus 110 cost, that's $15 profit. There's no loss at producing five units. The problem is that you're not making the most profit. This rule is called the profit maximizing rule. You can make profit other units, but this one's the one that has the most profit. This also applies when there's a loss. The profit maximizing rule is also the loss minimizing rule. So even if you're making a loss, producing where MR equals MC will give you the smallest loss.